Hi, my name is Cy Porter, and I'd like to show you how I set up this one animated scene in After Effects. And basically, what is happening is that the camera is zooming out and panning to the left. So, I'll show you how I set it up. One important thing to think about the strategy of animating two-dimensional images is to consider where the camera is going to be moving and then translate that into a two-dimensional image. As you can see here, my composition is very wide. If I go and look at the image size, it's 30 across and 9 high. And the reason is, is because I know the camera is going to be moving from down here and, and in this direction. And there are images that I went ahead and with the tree and the house, I went ahead and brought to their own layers just so that I would have the ability to manipulate them in After Effects because you can only predict so much how the images are going to start working once you bring them into After Effects and you want to prepare the images so that you will have the ability to scale different different parts and rearrange to make them work best in a pseudo 3D environment. Here we are in After Effects, and what I've done is made all the layers 3D. I brought them into the composition, clicked on the 3D box, and I've arranged them in Z space. And if you notice, the sky and clouds are very far in the back. And then I have the land in the background. I brought back, but it's a little bit nearer to the front because in terms of the parallaxing, I want that background land to move a lot more in relation to the the foreground land. I don't I don't need to send it very far to the back because I want to go ahead and have it move a little bit less than the the land in the front but not move as little as the clouds and sky so i knew that i wanted to have the camera do come in here and give a close view of the two animated characters here and this is a quick time video footage that I brought in of these two animated characters. The reason I'm using QuickTime is because I can render out with an alpha channel from After Effects and I don't need to key it out. The starting shot, I knew what the starting shot would be and I knew what the ending shot would be. And then when I went in, I wanted to work with the camera movement. So I didn't want the camera to quickly move out from the two characters. So I click on the position and then if you click on the graph editor button right here you can control the movement. And the first keyframe here I right clicked on it and clicked on video interpretation and made sure that it, that it was busy air. 
which means that you can control how slowly or quickly the movement leaves and enters that key frame. And you get a, a handle here to control that. And I brought that handle far out to make sure that the movement would gradually increase as it moved away from that keyframe. <clears throat> and the first time I did a test render, I realized that what I ended up with was a majority of the scene was this mid area where there really is not any detail in the fields here and I don't want to spend a lot of time with the main focus being on fields and road where there really is not much detail and not much to see so I went ahead and made the ending keyframe busier also and then what I did is I went ahead and moved I pulled the handle out here to make the fastest part of the scene around the time that the camera is moving out and panning left so that the camera would move quickly past that part where it it's mostly focused just on the field and roads so that we can go ahead and start slowing down at the end where the scene becomes interesting again with the landscape view of the house and the sky in the background and and the animated characters can still be seen now very far down in the corner and so i went ahead and brought that keyframe down to where it would slow down to nearly stopping there towards the end and basically i stayed in the graph editor and tried different approaches to how quickly and slowly different parts of the scenes played and continued doing test render till I got what I want wanted. And that's just an example of how you can work with pseudo 3D in After Effects for animation. Hope that was helpful. If you would like me to to make more of these, you can encourage me to make more by watching my animation project at solomation.com. When I see those stats go up, I get really amped to, to make more free tutorials and put them up on YouTube. So I hope your art goes well and have a good day.